focused on the crisis at the border and a deadline expired. Today is a big day. The federal government set a deadline for Texas to allow federal border agents back into Shelby Park. Yeah, and according to our crews in Eagle Pass, that deadline was not met. The News 4 I team's Jordan Elder tells us how things are looking at the border right now and the potential consequences if Texas doesn't comply with the orders. There's been a lot of in and out at the Shelby Park entrances today, but no big confrontation between the state and federal government. Texas officials have said that's more likely to happen in court rather than out here. In this letter, the federal government sets a deadline for Texas to reopen Shelby Park for their officials, but state leaders made it clear they don't plan on complying. That's such a mockery of, of what's actually happened for, for the last three and a half years. They haven't cooperated with us on anything. We sat outside the Shelby Park gates for hours Friday. We saw International Boundary and Water Commission trucks pass through this gate and we saw one Border Patrol truck sitting underneath the International Bridge. The South Dakota governor also came in for a tour, but this is a far cry from the usual Border Patrol presence in this area. So what happens if Texas continues to turn down these requests to let Border Patrol in? Legal experts say things could get even more dramatic. On a more drastic scale, President Biden could nationalize the Texas National Guard, and make them all report directly to him as commander in chief. That's what some Democratic congressmen are calling for. Representatives Greg Kasser and Joaquin Castro have posted that they'd support that move. As the clash continues at the top, the Border Patrol Union says the people on the ground here in Eagle Pass have an understanding. In a post on X, the union says, quote, Texas National Guard and rank and file Border Patrol agents work together and respect each other's jobs, period. If Texas National Guard members have lawful orders, then they have to carry out those orders. And right now, the order is this. Texas National Guard members checking each vehicle that wants to enter Shelby Park. It's important to note here, Shelby Park is about two to three miles long. It's relatively small compared to the grand scheme of the Texas border. But how this situation is handled could have big impacts on how states and the federal government handle border disputes from now on. Reporting in Eagle Pass, I'm Jordan Elder.